Hey everyone, it's Jeff Douglas with Appear in Clouds, folks. I want to show you this tool we've been using for a couple of months now. It makes our life much easier when dealing with APIs and REST calls with Salesforce. So it's called the RunScope. You can find it, of course, at runscope.com. It's very, very simple. Works with any language. So what you do is you essentially, instead of making your calls to cs.salesforce.com for your REST calls, you use a, a URL that they provide for you, which ties to their service. So you make your request to this URL. It proxies it to Salesforce, returns a response back through RunScope, and then returns it back to your application. And then once you do that, you can do things such as inspect all your API traffic. You can look at you know the request and response, your query string parameters, all your form data, all that stuff like that, and look at your headers and see you know what's misbehaving and what's not working properly. And the cool thing about it is also you can share the calls and collaborate with teammates. So you can actually set it up where you can run um, a URL through RunScope and share, that with a, share the results with an employee or you can even set up to actually run from your local machine and have an external URL available that actually makes calls to your local machine and then share that with other team members also. So I'll kind of show you that real quick. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in here and you see when you get over here they have multiple buckets. I'm on a paid version so I have multiple buckets but you can set up multiple buckets to route for different URLs, so you can. I've done things that I've got um, my routes to Salesforce go into one bucket, my routes to our API go into another bucket. I'm working on a Node version of our API into another bucket, then I have just a, a generic bucket that I have here. So you can switch to different buckets here. I've got a down bucket we're going to use right now. I'll kind of show you how that works, and then you can also take these requests that you get and you can put them in collections and share that collection. You can actually also look at errors and see the errors that come by here. And there's a summary, and then you can share you know your request to this bucket and then one of the cool things is also you can actually have a request editor where you can actually build a request right here and run that through um, RunScope and see the requests that come out here. So let's go ahead and run something real quick here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. So what you have to do basically is you just basically make a, a new URL and so you would say your API here.com would be all the space, all the periods would be replaced with hyphen or the dashes. So, for instance, this one right here for Salesforce, I'll show you how mine looks right here. So, this is an application that has just a Rails application, and you can see I have my Apex REST URL. It looks like that. But with with Run Scope, it would look like let me see if I can find it here. It would look like this. So, you essentially are replacing the dots with dashes, and then you're appending on the URL that they they give you. So that's right here. Pretty self-explanatory, you get it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've actually got this running with this right here, so I'd actually get rid of that, and I'd run that as my URL. So it's gonna proxy the calls to RunScope, forward them to Salesforce, bring them back to RunScope, and then I'll have them back in my application, so we can kind of see that. So let me show you how that works here. So I have a, our application here, I'm just gonna update some account details. So all I'm doing is pushing some data in there. Let's see, we'll do 100 Main Street. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. It runs a little slower through RunScope, of course. It's making a lot of calls through here. And of course, I'm running it locally, which is not the fastest thing ever. All right, there's my response. All right, so now if I come through here, I can see now I've got a new request. So here's my request, and this is a get, but I'm actually more interested in the puts. I think I have the puts going to a different bu bucket. I think I have it going to this bucket right here. Uh, yeah, so here is my bucket right here. So this is the puts I just ran. So now I can expand this, and I can see my request that was sent to Salesforce. So here's all my tokens and everything, and here's my address I sent over here, 100 Main Street, country, name, and I can look at the response that came back. There's my response that came back as JSON. So that, that's pretty cool. So now I can look at different headers and see what's going on here. But now let's go ahead and run this again. So let's see. I'm going to change this. And we're going to say, I don't know. Um, and we'll submit this one more time. And that go back through run scope. All right. So now I want to go back here and look at my new traffic here. Um, let's see, is this the same we just did? Let's see. Yep, so there's the one at Elm Street. So another cool thing about it is you can play back this response too, which is kind of neat. 
and also look at a comparison. So I'm going to want to compare multiple requests. So let's look at that one with this one right here. When I made a minute ago, we can kind of see the difference in this. So now it actually outlines what's different in here for you. And I think I'll do the request also. You can see that there's different re different requests in here. And here. And then here's the response. And if I have different things come back to here, I can look at the different response that came back and announced the data, but all the headers too to see what's coming back in the data. So that, that's pretty cool. Now we use that quite a bit for for using the multiple APIs that are on the, the platform here. So we kind of, that comes in ha quite handy. Another thing I was talking about was that if you wanted to share your URL that you have locally with teammates. So we run a lot of development on different computers and we have developers who are running it locally and want to share it out and test out functionality and there's something called Passageway and Passageway allows you to actually have your URL point to your local machine and it, it's very simple to set up. There's a couple things you have to install um, but it's really handy and what you can do is then you can actually we have it so where our applications I can actually make a request that will run through all of our APIs that are running locally and I can see those in run scope. So it's a really sharp way of doing that. So if you are looking at ways to you know, debug Salesforce REST calls, you want to see you know, what's being sent and what's coming back and the headers to try to track down some issues, I highly recommend you look at run scope.